let's have another talk, guys. This one might seem a bit esoteric, but let's get into it anyway. He said the other day I was having a conversation with one of my friends, and this friend in particular um, equated being conscious with thinking. He told me that you cannot be conscious without thinking. I, of course, disagreed because I've experienced states in which you can be conscious without thinking. To me, consciousness is a field. It's kind of like awareness. I equate consciousness with awareness. And much like how in the field of space, light can propagate in the field of consciousness, thought can arise. This is what I was telling him. Even though the default state of humans is to have this compulsive thinking, it is not the only state. There are ways that you can be aware without thought. And through meditation, you can get to these states. You can definitely um, experience this. It's something you have to experience. It's hard to explain on an intellectual basis because it's a very subjective thing. So I was trying to explain this to my friend. I was trying to show him that you do not have to be governed by your thoughts which is a problem that a lot of people suffer from in this modern world a lot of people believe that because they're thinking they are actually their thoughts i think therefore i am i'm sure you've heard that classic dictum which is erroneous of course because you definitely can be without thought the reason you have to disidentify with your thoughts is because your thoughts, for the most part, are not yours. They're shaped by your conditioning, by where you're brought up, by the people you hang out with, the society you live in. If you study thought like I have, if you sit down and just pay attention, you will notice that there seems to be a sort of involuntary nature of thinking. Thoughts just come to us. We don't go to them. They arise. It's kind of like the example that people always talk about of if I say don't think of a pink elephant, what happens? Of course, you would think of a pink elephant. That just shows you how suggestive thinking is. So because thinking is suggestive, a lot of things can happen. A lot of negative thoughts can infect your mind. So So what you need to be able to do is cultivate a filter for your mind. You need to be able to discern those thoughts that enhance you and those that don't help you out at all you need to be able to see them clearly shine the light of consciousness on them and not take them seriously too many people take what goes on in their mind seriously if a thought arises they put all their attention to it regardless of the nature of the thought this is why people end up being very stressed out in some sort of situations so this is why people end up being very depressed because they are entertaining the ideas that are going through their minds way too much. You need to be different. You need to be able to just be aware and to do what you have to do when you have to do it. And this is a very difficult thing to do. It's much easier said than done, I know, but you definitely can be get yourself to this level. As I said before, the best way to do it is to meditate. Some people utilize um the help of psychedelic drugs for spiritual practices by myself have not done that so I cannot speak on that but that perhaps can help you understand the depths of this dimension so here's a little experiment for you it's somewhat of a meditative practice but I think it'll be very eye-opening for those of you who haven't meditated before definitely give this a try because you see what I am talking about. You'll be able to understand what I'm trying to convey in this video a bit more about the nature of thought. I want you to sit down just for 10 minutes. So set your phone's alarm for 10 minutes and just sit down in a quiet room anywhere and just pay attention to what you're thinking of. Just pay attention. If you do this, you will notice that 95% of your thinking is not yours. It's not conscious thought. It's not like when someone gives you a problem and then you put your mind to it. Most of your thinking is just random and compulsive and seems to be coming out of nowhere. It seems to be coming out of the ether. 
this will be very eye-opening for some people because some people don't even know this. They just go on their day and think this is normal. However, you have to understand that you can train yourself to have more control over your own mind, just like how you can train yourself to build a bigger chest in the gym or to be stronger or jump higher. The same thing can happen with your mind. You can train yourself to filter out thoughts that don't help you and to be a lot more focused when you have to be. And the first step is just identifying that you are not where you need to be at the moment. So try that, practice, and get back to me. Tell me what you think. Is it interesting? What happened? What were you thinking of? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be doing more videos like this in the future, of course. Um, just talking about different things. And yeah, peace.